only these four items and you have yourself an amazing kimono to wear out to that awesome event i guess <laughs> where do people wear kimonos these days Oh my god, Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button so you're notified whenever I post a new video. My name is Silem. Today we're going to be doing something very interesting. If you haven't seen my previous no sew project, please click the link right here. We're going to be doing another no sew project today. I'm going to teach you how to make a kimono without sewing. So this kimono can be done in as little as five minutes. So if you have a fabric lying around, you don't know what to do with it, or you just can't be bothered to take it to the tailor to make something nice for you. You could try this, it's very easy, very simple. And all you need is a fabric, chalk, measuring tape, and your scissors. These are the only four items you need. You don't need to sew anything. You don't need a needle. You don't need a thread. You don't need a glue. Nothing. Only these four items and you have yourself an amazing kimono to wear out to that awesome event, I guess. <laughs> Where do people wear kimonos these days? <sighs> oh my God, nerves. Really. Okay, so without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm going to show you the fabric I'll be using for this project. So for the fabric you need, you need a self-finished fabric. However, you don't really need a solid fabric for this project. I'm not using a solid fabric, so you can decide to use a solid fabric or not. But you definitely need to use a self-finished fabric. Simply because it's a no-sew project, you're not going to sew anything. So you need your edges to be as neat as possible. So. What I mean by solid fabric is a fabric that there is no clear distinction between the right side and the wrong side. So I'm going to show you an example of a solid fabric. Now this is a solid fabric. There's no clear distinction between the right side and the wrong side. However, the fabric I'll be using today is not a solid fabric and this is the fabric I'm using today. This is the fabric I'm using today. This is the right side and there is a clear distinction between this right side and the wrong side so um it's important that you decide what you want for this project it's not necessary that you use a solid fabric but you definitely have to use a self-finished fabric in all my no sew projects and even the ones to come i would always use a self-finished fabric and i'll also advise you to always use a self-finished fabric if you're going to be doing any of my no sew projects so that is a must however you could decide to use a solid fabric or a fabric that is not solid by self finished fabric i mean a fabric that does not fray so these two fabrics though this is solid and this isn't solid they are both self finished so what i mean is that they don't fray they don't fray at all so even when you cut them with the scissors there's no hair coming out or anything like that so it's the same thing with um this one it's also um, self finished fabric and uh, it doesn't fray as well so this is the fabric I'll be using I'm actually using one yard of fabric it's actually one and a half yards uh, I think it's one yard I'm using one yard of fabric for this kimono it's very simple very easy for you to do if you want to see how I make this kimono please keep watching <laughs> I'm using one yard of fabric for this um, DIY kimono. Is it really one yard? It's about 45 inches because I've used part of it. So it's about, say, one and a half yards or something. So yeah, it's basically one and a half yards. So the first thing I did was fold my fabric. Um, I just folded the fabric and that's the first thing I did. And I'm just measuring the width of the fabric. So like I said, it's about 45 inches. So you need to measure the width of your fabric because you would need to measure half of that width. So since the width of my fabric is 45 inches, half of that is 22 and a half inches. So that is what I'm going, I'm marking now. So from one end, I'm just measuring um, 22 and a half inches, which is um, half of the width 
of my fabric so i'm just measuring that all the way down so just so that i have a straight line at the end of the day because i've i find that when you just mark you measure something and you just mark like maybe three at three points and you try to eyeball it to cut it's not as straight so i try to mark as many times as i can and with very 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 short distances between the marks i hope that makes sense so that's why i'm doing this um along the fabric so um that's what i'm doing still just making sure that at the end of the day i have a straight line and once i'm done with that the next thing i'm going to do is cut um, along that line that I've marked I made a small a tiny hole at the top there um, and then I started cutting from there but then I realized no let me start from the bottom <laughs> so wherever you start from it doesn't really matter as long as you cut along the line you've marked this is a very simple kimono jacket like I said it can be done in as, as little as five minutes it doesn't take time at all so that's what you do you just cut along that line try to make your um, cutting as smooth as possible and that's why I'm taking my time so it's smooth it's clean it doesn't look like um, you, you, you were being chased when you were cutting it you know <laughs> you know what I'm saying right so yeah uh, like I said you can cut from the top or you can cut from the bottom whichever way you decide to cut it just cut a straight line that's it and then when you're done with that this is what you should have the back or the other side of the fabric should not be cut so you're cutting only one side you're not cutting the back bear that in mind and now this is the belt for the kimono the length is 60 inches while I decided to use a width of two inches so like I did previously I'm just marking that two inches um, along the fabric so that when I'm cutting um, it gives me a straight line once I'm done cutting so I'm just cutting along that line I've marked and that's basically it guys this is quite simple very straightforward I actually like this is one of my favorite um, of my DIYs <laughs> my best is clearly the waterfall jacket if you haven't seen the waterfall jacket I'm gonna put a card so just click the card in the top right corner of the screen so that's definitely my favorite the waterfall jacket but this is the close second i really love how this kimono turned out and i love the fact that it's really really simple to make very easy to make and this is what the belt looks like when i've done it's just a straight simple belt and then uh i wore it over a camisole you could wear anything underneath depends on you basically but um, i decided to wear mine with a camisole and a white um, jean now can you tell that i changed my camisole a few times i wore a black one then i changed a white one then i changed back to a black and then back to a white so if you could if you detected that it means your eyes are quite sharp so please let me know in the comment section if you notice that I changed my camisole a couple of times. So I just wanted you guys to see um, like the different looks you can have with this. So I definitely prefer the white camisole with the white jean. It looks more, you know, more nice, more neutral. It makes everything blending very neutral. And but the black is uh, black is alright. <laughs> but I really prefer the white one. If you've watched up to this point thank you so much god bless you um please hit the subscribe button support your girl like this youtube business is not a joke <laughs> it's not a joke guys this thing takes hard work so please support your girl all i need from you is just for you to subscribe like this video leave a comment down below and share it with your friends thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye bye